everybody welcome back to reconvert this is eric and in today's video i'm going to teach you how to add product upsell to your wix checkout in order to boost conversions and average order value in order to get started make sure to have the reconvert app installed on your wix store then head over to the reconvert app and from the dashboard go to the checkout editor this is the reconvert checkout editor if you want to learn more about the reconvert checkout editor just click the help video button at the top right corner of the screen to learn more to get started just click the add section section button at the bottom right corner of the screen, then select product upsell from the list of sections above. As you can see, there is only one possible section right now, but at the time you're watching this video, there might be some additional sections in here. For now, I'm just going to select the product upsell to proceed. The next step would be to choose the location within checkout in which I want to display my product upsell. As of now, the only possible location is right below the order summary and the order total. But by the time you're watching this video, there might be additional locations at checkout in which you can add your product upsell too. So I'm going to click this product upsell and as you can see the product upsell section was added right below my order summary. I'm going to start by renaming my product upsell and I'm going to call it my first upsell. This name is for internal use only and you're going to be able to see it later on on your reconvert dashboard. Next let's head over to the product settings. On the left menu, I'm going to select product and then on the right menu, you can see that I have a few options here. By default, the product upsell is set to display the same product purchased, which based on our research, analyzing over 40,000 stores seems to convert best in most cases. You also have the option to select the cheapest product in the card. In both options, you have the option to exclude specific product categories from showing up as upsell. If this option is checked, you can select the category from your store that you wish to hide from product upsells. In this demo store, I only have one category which is all products so I'm just going to keep it as it is without selecting anything and then you can choose what happens if the product upsell that being shown meaning in this case the cheapest product in cart is one of the excluded categories then you can either display an alternative product or hide the upsell if you hide the upsell there are no additional settings and if you choose to display an alternative product you can select here from the list of products on your store. So in this example, let's say that I do choose the all products category. If the cheapest product in my cart is showing up in this category, then I'm going to display this product instead. Of course, you can change or delete this product at any time. Another available product option would be to select a specific product. And in this option, again, you just need to select a featured product right from your store. Let's say that I want to display this tracker cap. I'm going to select it, then click select. And as you can see, the product preview shows up in here with all the details about the product. You can also choose what happens if this product is already in the cart. You can either display the featured product anyway. You can display an alternative product, just like we showed you before, or you can just hide the upsell. I'm going to keep it as it is for now. It's important to mention that by the time you're watching this video, there might be some additional options for products to display in this list, like AI product recommendations. I'm just gonna hit save for now. The next thing that we're going to edit is going to be the product image. Image. For the image fit, you can choose to either contain the image or cover it across the entire area of the image. You can also choose to change the image according to the selected variant, which is checked by default. I'm going to keep it as it is. Next, we're going to have the product details. This is going to allow us to add to our product upsell a title and a subtitle. By default, the product title is going to be coming from Wix. But if I wish to change it into something customizable, I can just check this box and in here I can write whatever I want, like my first upsell. And let's say that I wanna make it bolder and a little bit bigger, great. Then for the subtitle, which is going to show up right below the product title, I have a few options here. By default, it's going to show me the option name or the variant name. I can change that to the brand name. In this case, in this product, it's empty. I can change it to the ribbon. Again, in this product, it's empty, but if it's set up in Wix, it's going to show up here automatically. I can set up some custom text with anything that I want, or I can just hide it completely. For now, I'm just going to get it back to the option name. I think it's a good option. The next thing we're going to edit is the product description. The first thing you need to decide is whether or not you want to display the product description. As you can see, by default, it's been displayed. But if I want to hide it completely, I'm just going to click this checkbox. And as you can see, the product description is now gone. Now let's get it back. By default, reconvert is going to display the product description as shown in Wix. But if I want to display a custom product description, I just need to check this option here. And then I can insert whatever text I want for the product description.
And as you can see, I made some customizations to my product description. I'm gonna keep it as it is. The next option would be to choose whether the product description is collapsible or not. If it's not collapsible, then the product description is always going to be shown fully. We do recommend keeping it checked unless it's a very short product description. If the product description is collapsible, you can choose whether to have it collapsed or expanded by default. I'm just gonna keep it as collapsed. And then the last step would be the description button text. Let's say that I want to change it to learn more. Perfect, I'm just gonna save it for now. Next, we're gonna have the price and discount settings. Let's start with the discount. You can choose whether or not to apply a discount on your product upsell. By default, it's unchecked, but if I check it, I have a lot of other options here. You can choose from three types of discounts, either percentage, fixed amount per unit, which means the customer will get the discount for each unit he's getting. For the sake of the example here, I have a $10 discount, then the customer will pay $7 instead of 17, but if I take one more, I will pay 17 instead of 34, and so on and so forth. The third option would be fixed amount per order. And in that case, again, if I have $10 discount for the first one, it's going to be $7. And then for the next one, it's going to be 24 because the second item doesn't get a discount. If the fixed amount per order or fixed amount per unit options are being selected, you also have the option to apply discount only for products over a certain value. And if you choose to, you just need to select the minimum product price. I'm just gonna hide it for now. And I'm going to change the discount to percentage and let's just make it 10%. I think it's good enough. The next thing you need to consider is discount conflicts. The way Reconvert activates discount in your store is we use coupon codes in Wix. And it's important to know that you can only have one coupon active on your Wix checkout at any given time. So the question here is what should we do in case you apply the discount for the upsell, but there's already an active coupon in the order. The options you got are, you can show the upsell without a discount, you can use the larger discount at checkout, meaning if the customer got a coupon code from the store and one from reconvert, we're going to calculate the one that is higher and keep it as the active discount. You can override the existing discount, which means reconvert is going to remove the previous coupon and activate the reconvert coupon, or you can just hide the upsell completely. If you choose either to use the larger discount at checkout or overriding existing discount, you're gonna have the option to hide the discount when a free shipping coupon is applied. And that is only because we cannot calculate and compare between an actual dollar value coupon to a free shipping coupon. For now, I'm just gonna use the use larger discount at checkout. Next, we have the price settings. By default, it's set to show the highest and lowest prices available on Wix, which include the original price on Wix, the sale price on Wix, and the product price, including the discount coming from reconvert, if available. If I uncheck this box, you can choose which of the three prices you want to display. It's important to mention that you have to have at least one available pricing shows up in the upsell so that the customer won't get confused about what he's paying for the upsell. I'm going to keep the highest and lowest price. And then you can also choose the pricing font size. I think I'm going to keep the highest price the same and I'm going to make the lowest price a little bit bigger so it's going to be more enticing, looks better to me. The next thing we're going to customize is the add button. You have a few options here. You can either select a secondary button, plain text button or a primary button, which I like most. So I'm going to keep it like this. And then for the text, you can try a few things. You can either do add to cart, buy now, or just add. I'm gonna keep it at buy now and I'm gonna hit save. The next thing we're going to customize is the option picker. This will allow you to choose between different variants. You can choose whether or not you want to let customers choose variants. I'm going to keep it enabled. You can also choose the option picker label text. I'm gonna keep it at option. Then we're going to customize the default selected variant. By default, it's going to show the first option as shows up in Wix, but you can also change it to none, and then the customer will have to actually select a variant before being able to add the product to cart. I'm going to get it back to first option and hit save. The next thing we're going to customize is going to be the quantity selector. First, you need to choose whether or not you want your customers to be able to change the quantity for the upsell. By unchecking this box, the quantity picker disappeared from my preview. I'm just going to check this box. Then we're going to choose what is the default quantity show up in the quantity picker. Let's say that I want them to get three hats by default. 
I'm just gonna change it to three. But still, as you can see, they can change it as much as they want. Now you can also set a minimum or maximum amount of quantity for your customers to choose from. Let's say that you only want them to get discount if they get a minimum of three heads or you don't want them to be able to get more than five heads, okay? So I'm going to set the minimum for three and I'm not going to let them get more than five. Now, as you can see, my default quantity is three. I cannot take it down and I can take it up up to five. So a lot of options here. So I'm going to keep it as it is and I'm gonna hit save. The last thing you want to edit is the success and error message of your product upsell. The success message shows up after a customer clicks the buy now button and the product was successfully added to the cart. You can choose whether or not you want to display it. I'm going to display the success banner and you can also preview it in here. Then you can choose from the banner type. You can either have it as a success, info, warning, or critical. For the success message, I'm just gonna keep it as success because it makes sense. And then for the banner text, I'm just gonna keep it as it is, but you can customize it as much as you want. We already discussed discount conflicts, but you can also display different messages based on if the reconvert discount was applied or if the existing coupon stayed in the cart instead of the reconvert coupon. Then you can choose whether or not you want to make this banner dismissible. I'm going to keep it dismissible. Then for the error message, the error message shows up in case for any reason we are unable to add the product to the cart, it can be either because the product is out of stock or because there is an internal issue in reconvert or in Wix or for any other reason. You can preview the error message. Again, you can choose the banner type. I'm gonna keep it as critical. You can again choose if it's dismissible or not. The last thing you need to decide is whether or not to display a dynamic error banner text. Because the error is gonna be different from time to time, by default, we're going to display the text as we're getting it from the Wix API. If you want to customize this text, you can do that. Just be aware that if you do customize this text, the same text is going to show up no matter the error. So I'm going to uncheck this box and I'm just going to write something in the line of looks good to me. Now I'm just going to save this. As you can see, reconvert is already live. The last step would be to actually preview my upsell. As you can see, I have here a hat with a few variants. I have custom made description, a 10% discount, minimum of three hats and a maximum of five hats. I've pre-made this checkout, this empty checkout. And now if I'm going to refresh this checkout after saving all my reconvert changes, I should be able to see my product upsell right here. So let's refresh the page. And as you can see, here is my product upsell looking very beautiful. I'm going to expand my product description. I'm going to try to go below three units or above five. And as you can see, I can't. I'm gonna be able to pick a different variant and eventually I'm just gonna hit the buy now button to add it to my cart. Great, and here is the success message. As you can see, five units were added and I have the reconvert coupon applied right here. The last step would be to actually complete this order, make sure that it's being added to my actual order on Wix and then show you the analytics on the dashboard. So let me just fill in all the details here real quick. And here is my thank you page. Everything seems to go pretty smooth. Now, if I go back to weeks and go to orders, I should be able to see here my last order with the reconvert upsell inside of it. Looks just great. Last step, let's talk about analytics. If I go back to my reconvert dashboard by clicking the exit button in the checkout editor, I'm gonna get to the reconvert dashboard. If you want to learn more about the reconvert dashboard, just click the help button at the top right corner of the screen. If you remember at the beginning of the video, I named my upsell my first upsell and we can see it here in the list of sections. As you can see, I have one impression, meaning the amount of times that my upsell was shown to customers. I have one click, meaning the amount of times that customers actually clicked the buy now button. Click through rate is the ratio between impressions to clicks. Conversions, that's the amount of upsells that actually ended up purchased by the customers. Conversion rates, that's the ratio between impressions and conversions. And then revenue, that's the total revenue generated by the product upsell. So guys, this is it. This is everything you need to know about how to add product upsell to your week's checkout using reconvert. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to comment them in the comment section below. I promise we'll answer each and every one of you. And if you need any further help, please feel free to reach out to our live chat support at the bottom right corner of the screen. We're available for you 24 seven. Good luck with reconvert and I'll see you on the next video.